You ever wonder? Wonder what it's like to be the cool guy? To be the guy that that all the girls like? The guy with the cool car and the cool clothes and the cool shoes and the jewelry? You know what I'm talking about? James was that guy. Everybody wanted to be James. Even I wanted to be James. I used to wonder, what does it take to be James? How could I be James? Was it something that he was born with? Was it in the clothes he wore? What did James have that everybody else wanted? Seems like we're all trying to find that thing, the thing that everybody else wants, just so that we can feel a little bit of love. James definitely had what everybody else wanted. Made of 100% pure Brazilian sugar. The hottest candy to ever hit my streets. They named the stuff Fun Trip. They being whoever in the heck was out there making this stuff. Nobody really knew where it was coming from. Nobody except for James. Every day, James will post up at the church, pop the trunk, the kids will come in for miles, like they could smell the stuff. You ever seen an attic before? It's a scary thing to see. Scary and sad at the same time. Scary because you know they'll do whatever it takes to get what they want. And sad because you know that that thing that they're chasing after, well, it's the very thing that's killing them. Why we do that to each other? Sell each other stuff? That's only gonna kill us? I don't understand that. I guess James did a lot of things that nobody could really understand. Stuff really shook my neighborhood up. Seemed like after a certain age, all the kids started to use this stuff. You could always spot them out. They had that look in their eyes, that emptiness. Like they were looking for something that they were never going to find. Every time I see one of the kids, I would run out and try to get their attention. Try and talk to them. Try to let them know that they were killing themselves with that stuff. But it's like they couldn't even hear me and they would just look right past me. Me and Mike knew that if we didn't do something, this stuff was going to kill all the kids in my neighborhood. So we came up with a plan. We would send Mike in undercover. He would learn the business and get in tight with James. Then we would bring down the fun trip. We worked hard to give Mike a new identity, a new name, a new mustache, and clothes like NWA used to wear. By the end of our process, couldn't even recognize Mike. Then we learned the language of the streets, how to walk, how to talk, and most importantly, who to stay away from. See, around here, the streets are kind of hard, but that's okay. It's just the way of the streets. Then we heard all the stories about undercover agents getting in over their heads. Sometimes they would get so caught up in their act that they couldn't turn it off. They would get stuck, stuck in bad guy mode. Sometimes the only other choice is to blow your cover, but that will get you killed and nobody wants that. It was a big risk, but Mike knew what he was getting into. We were prepared for the worst. But I always used to think, it's gotta be hard pretending to be somebody that you're not every single day, being surrounded by people who have no idea who you really are. It's gotta be lonely. Never being able to tell people what you're really thinking or what you're really feeling and always knowing that the smallest slip up could get you killed, gotta be hard. Anyways, one day, Mike and James were closing the deal, just like they had done a hundred times before. If Mike was nervous, he wasn't showing it. But that's when it happened. Gust of wind came, and it blew Mike's mustache right off his face. James was walking back to the trunk, and he noticed that something was up. Mustaches don't just disappear like that. That's when James knew he had to test Mike. 
to make sure he wasn't a cop. So James decided to have Mike or Steve try some fun trick. Mike just stood there looking at the stuff, knowing that if he tried it, he risked getting addicted. But if he didn't try it, he risked getting killed. So he did what any sane person would do, and he tried it. He tried the fun trip, and then he got addicted. My best friend got addicted just like that. After that, things started to change. Mike and James were growing closer together, and me and Mike, we started growing farther apart. We never thought it could happen to us, but it did. Mike, Mike was in too deep. Mother, so 